Number 10. Rotational kinematics. Does an object moving in a circle always have centripetal acceleration? Does it always have centripetal acceleration? Does it always have rotational acceleration? Does it always have tangential acceleration? So let's just set some white space there. Okay, so centripetal acceleration. Remember, if we've got motion in a circle, okay, um, remember there are always potentially, and I'm going to use this word potentially, possibly, two components of uh, acceleration. The one is, remember, it's the radial acceleration, and the other one is tangential, right? This radial component of acceleration is V squared over R. And it is the acceleration that's pointing towards the center of the circle. And then we potentially, I'm using this word potentially, okay, have um, A, T. By the way, these are vectors. So this should be in the, uh, the radial direction. So if we call this my radial direction and that my tangential direction so this is radial and this is tangential okay so your so the question is do we always have this component what is your answer what is your answer to that the answer is yes we do as long as an object is moving in a circular motion the velocity vector is changing direction all the time which means that we uh, as I've said before many times your velocity vector has two components its magnitude and its direction if it's direct even if its magnitude is constant as so long as the direction is changing we have an acceleration and the acceleration due to the changing direction is this component here, right? So, so we always have this guy, but do we always have this guy? When would we have AT? We would have the tangential acceleration. Okay, so let's just make sure I draw this. So now here's the velocity, right? The velocity, okay? Uh, so there's the velocity. AT, we only have AT if we have DV, uh, delta V, delta T, meaning the magnitude of this velocity is changing. So if at this point the velocity increased, right? So we have V1 there and we've got V2. Uh, so both the direction of this velocity vector and its size changed then we would have a uh, tangential acceleration okay we would have this guy tangential acceleration but if the if the velocity remained constant we would only have this guy then what about this guy rotational acceleration well remember that um this AT refers to the tangential acceleration, but rotational acceleration is is do is um, to do with moving through this theta angle. Okay, and it's given by alpha um, theta. Oh. I've, I've messed it up now. Anyway, that, that's a theta. Yeah. Okay. So, and how are these? How are these two accelerations related? Well, it's given by AT equals the radius alpha uh, alpha theta. So this is my rotational <coughs> acceleration and that is my tangential acceleration. So as long as I have uh, this one, 
I will have this one. As long as I have this one, I will have this one. Okay? So the question is, yes, I will always have the radial component, the centripetal acceleration, but not necessarily have these uh, these components. Okay?